Bonjour. In today's GCSE speaking exam practice, we are going to work on a question from theme one, topic two, technology in everyday life. So we are going to try to answer this question. Quels sont les dangers du net? Now remember, there is a support guide available with this lesson. So don't hesitate to click on the join button below. And also to check learnfrenchwithalexa.com if you want the full French course. Okay, so we are going to try to answer this question. Quels sont les dangers du net? Ou quels sont les dangers de l'internet? What are the danger? Think about what could be the danger of using internet and try to put that into French words. Well, this is what I've done. À mon avis, il y a des dangers quand on est sur internet. Par exemple, il y a de plus en plus de cyberharcèlement ou cyberintimidation. Et cela cause beaucoup de problèmes de santé mentale parmi les jeunes, sur les réseaux sociaux aussi, il faut être vigilant et prudent. On ne sait jamais qui est en ligne parce que les gens cachent leur identité. La plupart du temps, on ne sait pas à qui on parle. Ok, so I know that this answer is big, okay, it's long and it's probably not what is expected of you uh, for the GCSE to have such a long answer. Take, choose and pick what you want from this, okay, and make it at the highest standard possible for you to get the highest grade level for your answer, okay. So, this is my suggestion, of course, it's not uh, necessarily what you agree with, so try to make it with an agreement to what you believe, okay. So, à mon avis, il y a des dangers quand on est sur Internet. So, remember that we do look like when, we do like when you um, give your opinion. So, je pense que, I think that, je crois que, I believe that, uh, à mon avis, in my opinion as well. So, use this, ou oh, d'après moi, that's another word, uh, way of saying according to me. Okay, use this whenever possible and then develop that. Okay, I think that because. Okay, il y a, there is, we like that, des dangers quand on est sur Internet. So, there are dangers. And dangers is des dangers, okay, des dangers. Quand on est sur Internet, when we are on Internet. And quand is used here as a conjunction, when you are in internet. And by the way, try to learn all the interrogatives for, such as quand, when. Okay, here it's used as a conjunction, but it's used also as an interrogative. So, quand means when, comment means how, qui means who, pourquoi means why. Use all of that. I mean, not use them, but understand what they mean when people are going to ask you the questions. Okay, so, il y a des dangers quand on est sur Internet. There are dangers when you are on the net, sur Internet. Par exemple, and then I'm developing. Always develop your answer to make it uh, bigger and more complex. We do, look, uh, we do like that. Okay, so, par exemple, for example, il y a de plus en plus. That is really good. A comparative is more and more. There's more and more what? Well, I'm using cyberharcèlement. Okay, this is quite a mouthful, okay. Um, check whether we can use bully as well. Uh, bully is an English word that I heard in French as well, but I'm not necessarily 100% sure that your examiner will accept that word, okay. So, il y a de plus en plus de cyberharcèlement ou cyberintimidation, okay. So, on the net, okay, there is more bullying, okay, cyber bullying going on, okay. And what is the consequence of that? This causes, cela cause, beaucoup de problems. So, we like the très, and the trop, and the beaucoup de. They are known as intensifier of your uh, answer, okay. So, we do, uh, we do like that. So, et cela cause beaucoup de problems. De santé. So, what kind of problems does that cause? Health, mental health problem. Okay. The word santé should be learned by heart. Okay. Because it will come up in 
other questions and you will see it a hundred percent sure in the writing and the reading and you will hear it as well during the listening exam. So, cela cause beaucoup de problèmes de santé mentale parmi. That's a good little word. That means amongst, amongst, yeah, amongst the youth or the young people. Okay, can you see that? So, cela cause beaucoup de problèmes de santé mentale parmi les jeunes. Okay, <coughs> so, sur les réseaux sociaux. And again, learn how to say social network by heart because again, you will see it in the text. You will hear it. You will uh, uh, read it as well. So, sur les réseaux sociaux, on the social networks as well. Okay, so what do you see or what must you do? Il faut... Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. Cool, I'm going to delete it. No, I just didn't know I could do that. That's really cool. Il faut être vigilant et prudent. Now, have a look at the list of uh, adjectives that I have produced in one of the videos, and that is on the support guide as well. It's really important that you are able to mix and, uh, your uh, adjectives, okay? And again, important that you can agree the adjectives in a feminine form when needed or in the plural form when needed because the examiner is going to look at these little details. If you pay attention to details, he's going or she is going to bring the mark much higher, okay? So, one must be vigilant and prudent, okay? One must be careful. Il faut être, il faut être. One must be. It is necessary to be, okay? And then you go on to, uh, to this. On ne sait jamais. Now, this is, uh, this is, you never know, okay? On ne sait jamais. You never know, okay? One never knows. On ne sait jamais. One never knows who, again, here the relative pronoun, qui, who, is online. Okay. On ne sait jamais qui est en ligne. Non. Parce que, a connective here, parce que les gens cachent leur identité. So, les gens meaning people. And what do they do, these people? They hide. Do you know how to say hide and seek in French? It's cache, cache. So try to remember this, cache, cache, and cache means to hide. People hide their identity. So, les gens cachent leur identité. And the re, re, um, again, all the possessives need to be learned. Mon ton son, ma ta sa, ma ta sa, mon ton son, ma ta sa, notre, votre, leur, and so on. Learn your possessives in French, and this will bring you extra points, ok? So, parce que les gens cachent leur identité. La plupart du temps, most of the time, on ne sait pas à qui on parle. So again, this is an ultra duper clever answer that will bring you extra point. You do not have to write it down or say it if you cannot um, deliver it, okay? Uh, it's better that, it's not about quantity, it's more about quality in answering questions during the GCSE. So it takes sometimes only two sentences for an answer, but if it's good, and if you have included some conditional, some passé composé, some really good things such as, you know, good conjunctions and good adverbs, then your answer is worth it, okay? Here I'm giving you lots of different possibilities, okay? So, on ne sait pas à qui on parle. We do not know who we are talking to. And this is why there are dangers of uh, the internet, okay? And uh, that's it. There is a support guide available with this, with the translation for you to have a look at, you know, what else you can write maybe with a few tips. And um, I'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment. Join us on Instagram and also uh, have a look at the playlist on other videos from the GCSE's uh, exam practice. Okay, that's it for me. Au revoir, à bientôt. Bisous, bisous.